perplex down the binary here, no hints. Okay, so I've got the binary and I've put it here into Ghidra. Here's the main program. If we scroll down, you can see it's going to do a get s with an address. Uh, looks like 256 bytes. So what we can do is we can take local 118. I'm going to retype that to car 256. And you'll see that it's filling it in with all zeros. I'll rename that to password. And it calls check on password. And if the check is not one, then it's going to say correct, otherwise it's going to say wrong. So it doesn't actually give us the password, it just calls this check function. I've done more work here on the check function. I've changed its parameter types. Um, so I've edited the function signature to take in that car star and return a bool. I've changed this variable secret to be 23 uh, bytes long. And you can see here the, the 23 bytes. Clearly the string length that needs to be passed in is 27, otherwise it jumps down here and returns true. So then we've got this crazy array of, of 23 things. And here's sort of the meat of the loop. So we're gonna loop through the 23 positions in the secret array, then looping through eight bits per character. Bitnum, interestingly, is going to count through the secret and it actually only counts up to seven. So every time it gets, so it starts at one, if it gets to eight, it starts over at zero and becomes one again. So it basically goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, repeatedly. And then we're checking to see if the bits of the parameter match up with the bits of secret. So in essence, what they've done is they've taken the password, which is one byte per character, and they've compacted it so that there's seven bits per character. So what I've done over here is I've created a little Python program. So we have the 23 bytes. I've taken those 23 bytes, which I got just directly out of Ghidra, and then I'm going to print them as bits. I'm going to print them as bits, and then after every seven, I'm going to uh, print a new line and stick a zero to begin. So what that does is it gives us these binary values. And so now if we take these binary values, basically again, all we've really done is we've looked at them seven at a time. So we put this binary to text translator, we'll paste in those values and then we're going to get our flag, PicoCTF, one bit at a time. 